In this lesson, you're going to learn how to figure out the percent of a number, the percent or percentage of a number. I'm going to go ahead and describe two ways. One of the ways is to use fractions, so we will write 45% as a fraction to begin with. 45 over 100. We've got 45 one over 100, and we say of 60. So of 60, we'll go ahead and multiply by 60. 45 hundredths times 60 over 1. And what we can do is we can go ahead and cancel. You can actually divide by 20. 60 divided by 20 is 3. 100 divided by 20 is 5. And then I can cancel again. 45, 5. 45 becomes a 9. And 5 becomes a 1. 9 times 3 in the numerator is 27, and the denominator I get 1, and 27 over 1 is 27. So 45 hundredths times 60, or 45% of 60, is 27. 27 is our answer there for that problem. We used fractions. Here's another one, 20% of 80, meaning we rewrite 20% as 20 over 100. Multiply it by 80 times 80, 80 over 1, can go ahead and cancel. 80 can become an 8, so the 100 can become 10, divided by 10 there. 20 over 10, 2 over 1, 2 times 8 is 16. 20% of 80 is 16. Here are two problems for you to try. Go ahead and convert them to a fraction first, and then do that multiplication. 10%. Hit pause. 10 over 100. I'll help you a little for that first one. Hit pause. I could just multiply 40 times 10 to get 400, and 400 over 100 gives us 4. 30% of 50, 30 over 100, times 50 over 1, 50 cancels to become a 1, 100 cancels to become a 2. So we've got 30 over 2, or 30 divided by 2, which equals 15. 30% of 50 is 15. Here's a method that you may find easier. This way number two is to use decimals. So we'll rewrite those percentages as decimals, and then we'll multiply as we did before. Here we have the problem 40% of 25. As I was saying, we'll go ahead and rewrite 40% as a decimal number. 0 0.40 of 25, that means we're going to multiply by 25. I'm going to reorder that because it'll make it a little easier for me to figure out. 0, 4 times 5 is 20, 0 regroup a 2, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, 2 decimal places there, 2 decimal places in my number, 40% of 25 is 10.00, which I can rewrite as that whole number, 10. Here I have 15% of 90, so what I will do first is to write 15% as a decimal number. 0 0.15 of 90 means times 90. I'll place a 0. 9 times 5 is 45. 5 regroup a 4. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 4 is 13. Let's see where I place that decimal point. Two decimal places. Within each of those factors, two decimal places. So I have 13.5. 15% of 90 is 13.50, also written as 13.5. Your turn. Let's try 12% of 50 and 15% of 42. Remember to write it as a decimal first, and then to multiply. Hit pause. I'll leave that second one for you to set up and solve on your own. Did you get 6 for the first one? 0 0.15 times 42 
you're going to end up with a decimal number, you should have gotten 6.3 as your answer. Here's a review. We've got 25% of 48. There's two approaches. One way is to go ahead and write it as a fraction, and then to go ahead and multiply 25 hundredths times 48, which I could write as 48 over 1. The other way is to go ahead and change 25% into a decimal, and then to multiply. So I've got 0.25 times 48. If I rewrite that, it'll be a little bit easier for me to solve. 8 times 5 is 40, 0 regroup of 4. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20. 0 regroup of 2. 8 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. Place a 0. 4 times 5 is 20, 0 regroup of 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. 0 and regroup of 1. Adding them together, I get 1, 2, 0, 0. Two decimal places, two decimal places, 25% of 48 is 12. 25 hundredths times 48, 1, 4. 1 times 48 is 48. 48 fourths, 48 divided by 4 is 12. Which way looks easier? I think that the way on the left, my way 1 with the multiplying fractions, actually got my answer a little bit quicker than the other way. Remember, there's always more than one way to solve a problem.